Hi, everybody. You know, let's go through some of the most common recipes that I want you to use almost every day. In other words, the things you're going to eat day in and day out that form the basic skeleton of a nutritarian diet. So just to review the simpleness and how easy this is, we're going to put, put, use some breakfast foods to give you an idea of the amount of food you're going to eat for breakfast. Because breakfast is one of the lighter meals of the day, not a heavy meal. Your heaviest meal is lunch when you eat a big salad with a nut and seed based dressing and a bowl of soup, vegetable bean soup, and maybe a piece of fruit for dessert. That's your biggest meal of the day. Breakfast is a lighter meal. You don't have to eat that much food for breakfast. But I do want you to eat a cup of berries for breakfast. So you're making a bowl, let's say a breakfast bowl. It contains a cup of, a cup of berries. And here I have, and maybe even cherries or other, some other fruit, but mostly berries. Here I have some fresh blueberries and frozen blueberries. You know, I'm going to put about a, about a cup of berries into a cup. So I prefer to use a lot of frozen berries because frozen berries are less expensive. And they're actually healthier because they're smaller and have more surface area. So they have more polyphenols, more blackness, you know, and on, the, on the skin. And they're just an amazing food. And frozen berries are much less expensive. And they don't go bad and they're not treated with fungicides and things like that. So it's not as critical. You don't have to get organic. Whereas if you get fresh, you have to get organic. So this is a cup. Let's see, I'm going to put about a cup of berries into the cup. I'm just going to scoop this, some berries in there to see how much berries we're eating in the morning, give you a rough idea of berries or cherries. I put in some, some berries. I'll put in you know, four or five raspberries. I'll put in a few blackberries. And raspberries and blackberries, because they also have tiny little, you know, they're like a lot of little berries stuffed together, a lot of surface area. It makes it so super healthy. Maybe I'll even put a few frozen cherries on top. So there's my cup of berries. I'll put another cherry in there. There's my cup of berries in my bowl, which fills up the bowl almost halfway through. And now I can put my milk or my seeds on top. And I want people generally to eat about two tablespoons of seeds every morning. So, and usually, to make this really simple, it's usually one tablespoon, and this is a tablespoon, one tablespoon of hemp seeds I'm putting in there. And then I have some chia and flax seeds. Now, the chia seeds are ground. If I'm going to make it this morning, I want them ground. But if I'm going to make it overnight, then I want the chia seeds whole, not ground, so they swell and soak and get that chewy fluffiness filled with fluid of soaking in the refrigerator overnight. So it's nice even to make this the night before. So in this case, I'm going to add another teaspoon of a mixture of um, chia seeds and, fla and flax seeds. So there's my like three quarters of a teaspoon. Uh, that's like half a tablespoon. I'll put some flax on the same tablespoon. So there's my full tablespoon of, of flax and chia with my, ta with my full tablespoon of hemp seed mix. So I've got my seeds added to that now. And then the, the amount of oats I'm going to add to eat with my morning berries and oats and seeds is, again, it's only two tablespoons because the it's going to soak up the fluid. And two tablespoons of oats is, an, is plenty of oats. and gives you like a nice oat, um, oatmeal-like consistency dish. And there's my breakfast, essentially, with the two tablespoons of seeds, the two tablespoons of oats. Or I could use cooked quinoa or another cooked grain. But with the oats, if it's this oatmeal, the organic oatmeal, I don't have to cook it because it's going to soak up the fluid when I let it soak a little bit. Now, keep in mind that the oats have to be organic. They are a food that has some contamination in it. And um, as you know, we don't use rice anymore because of the arsenic contamination. And I'm, I'm kind of, in most of the day, the other grains I'm using are mostly quinoa because they're also what's a more favorable, richer protein grain. And I'm starting to add a lot more quinoa in my breakfast. And that, in that case, instead of because it's healthier than oats even, and in that case, I'm going to put the two tablespoons or three tablespoons of cooked quinoa in. Because don't forget, these two tablespoons of raw oats swell into four tablespoons when you add the fluid to them when they soak. So I'm going to take the cooked quinoa already. I may want to add three or four tablespoons in to have the same volume as the oats. OK, now I'm going to add the fluid to it. Now, generally, the fluid I generally make in the morning is I, I take um, a half a cup of almonds with and hemp seeds. I fill the almonds and hemp seeds together, usually a little more hemp than almonds, to make a half a cup. 
And that amount of nuts, there, there's my half a cup right there. And that half a cup of nuts and seeds blended in the Vitamix or a powerful blender with three cups of water and usually a tablespoon of real vanilla bean powder and one medjool date. Let me review that one more time to make my nut milk in the morning. A cup of nuts and seeds, three cups of water, one medjool date, one tablespoon of real vanilla bean powder. Gives you a delicious vanilla flavor, just slightly sweet, with a real touch of sweetness. But don't forget, that's three cups of water. That's three cups, that's three days of breakfast um, nut and seed milk. So this is for good for three or four days or more. And what I really do is because I'm eating nuts with my other meal and I've already had my flax and chia in here, I'm even gonna take the nut milk and I'm putting a cup of milk on top of this, but I'll either dilute that nut milk. So I'm using partially this nut hemp seed almond milk with some unsweetened soy milk and water. So I'm putting in here, I have a half a cup of water, right? I'm gonna put a half a cup of water on that cereal that I just made because it's gonna be soaked up with the berries. And now I'm gonna add maybe a quarter cup. I'll take the quarter cup of soy milk, right? A quarter cup of soy milk in there, about a quarter cup. And a quarter cup of the three cups, just a little bit of that, that I made three cups of nut milk with this blended together. So I may only put a quarter cup in there because I want water, I'm putting a full cup of liquid, don't forget, water, soy milk, and hemp and, and um, almond milk in. So let's just assume I had the hemp and almond milk made. I put a little bit of out. I put a little out from the hemp and almond milk now. In this case, I'm using soy milk. I usually use the Eden Soy brand because there's no other ingredients. There's no sugar, no any additives, just soy. Or I'll use the West, spray, West Soy brand, I think. The other one is that has no, no other ingredient except organic soybeans. But I'm just demonstrating that I used about a cup of fluid into my cup of berries and my two tablespoons of oats and my two tablespoons of seeds because you because now if I let this soak overnight most of that fluid is going to be taken up by those seeds and a little bit of um, um, and a little bit of oats I have in so there's my breakfast bowl you see it made a full bowl of food the one cup of fluid and the, and the other ingredients make a whole bowl of food for you to eat. It's not that many calories, it's not that many nuts, it's not that many fats, it's just the right amount of food for breakfast to carry you through to lunch. So you get hungry before lunch, so you feel like eating lunch because you're dying for it because you're hungry. And don't forget, hunger is the best sauce, it makes things taste the best, but also having hunger before you eat demonstrates that your body is ready to digest food because the glands that secrete digestive enzymes on the food had a chance to fill back up again and get all their enzymes in ready to be able to digest that food um, most effectively and most efficiently.